It's been 10 years since shots rang out in the West Nickel Mines one-room schoolhouse, killing five young Amish girls and injuring five others. The survivors and families in the tightly knit community have forged what they call a new normal in the last decade. Physical wounds have mostly healed and awful memories have receded somewhat into the past. Parents find themselves not having to visit as often the memorial cabinets containing the favorite books and dresses of their lost daughters. The cycle of growing and harvesting from the rich earth in the surrounding fields has continued uninterrupted. Two of the girls shot in the schoolroom are now married. The one-room school hastily built after the old one was demolished during the night has more students than it did on October 2, 2006. It hasn't been easy, of course. How could it be? One boy who escaped from the school struggles to this day with survivor's guilt. And at weddings and family vacations, the parents of dead girls sometimes find themselves wondering what their daughters would be like. But the Nickel Mines community has gotten beyond the horror and their lives have meaning because of a deliberate, chosen path of faith, hope, and forgiveness. The community's capacity for unqualified forgiveness was a gift to the world. Within hours of the shootings, members of the Amish community arrived at the home where the widow of the shooter, Charlie Roberts, was staying to tell her they forgave him and were worried about his family. The decision to forgive the men responsible for killing their daughters was a choice born of faith and conviction, but it was neither automatic nor easy. To this day, families in Nickel Mines say they must work at forgiving. There's a peace in forgiveness that helps actually to ease the pain because you are not feeding on the bitterness of negative feelings, says the mother who lost a daughter in the shooting. The ability to forgive inspired both the wife and mother of the shooter. Both developed ongoing bonds with Nickel Mines families that continue to this day. In one extraordinary relationship, the mother of Charlie Roberts cared for the most severely injured Amish girl in weekly visits, holding her gently in a rocking chair, singing lullabies, and reading books. Both mother and wife say their interactions with the Amish community, along with a deeper trust in God, help them allow light back into their lives. No event with the anguish of a nickel mines is wiped off the face of the earth. But the Amish chose not to dwell on grief and hatred. They even named the event The Happening, so that the focus was placed not on the evil that occurred that day, but on the seminal event that ultimately led to the cleansing transcendence of grace and forgiveness.